Hey, welcome to Everyday Jewish Mom. Happy Purim. This year I wanted to come up with some ways to dress up my hamantaschen a little bit. I make my own hamantaschen, but these tricks will work for store-bought ones also. So if you're running last minute or you're not a baker or you're busy or whatever, these will work for everybody. Check. These first ones are absolutely inspired by the sprinkle cookies that I used to get at the bakery growing up. For these, after I formed my hamantaschen dough, I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. That will help them keep their shape, make them a little firmer. And then I'm going to paint them with egg whites. This technique works for raw cookie dough, but it will also work for store-bought hamantaschen or ones that are already cooked. And you can use the store-bought egg whites that come in a carton in the refrigerator section as well. So take it, dunk it head first into the sprinkles. For the best deal on sprinkles, check the ice cream section of your grocery store. They often have big tubs of them there, and it's a much better deal than the baking aisle. For baking these hamantaschen, you would just use the same temperature and time that you would if they didn't have the sprinkles on them. And if you're adding sprinkles to hamantaschen that have already been baked, like store-bought ones, you would just put them in the oven at 350 for 5 minutes. Next, I'm going to do a chocolate drizzle on my hamantaschen. I'm using these dark chocolate candy melts here. Candy melts are chocolate that is meant to be easily melted and it hardens really fast. So it's so simple to work with. I melted it down in the microwave and then I put a baggie inside a cup to make it easier to fill. I'm just going to scoop my chocolate right into there. And then I made just the tiniest little cut in the corner of the bag and I drizzled them over my hamantaschen. You can see here that some of these hamantaschen are not the prettiest. They overflowed and aren't quite triangles. Covering them in chocolate makes them look so good no one will ever notice. These last ones are by far my favorite and the easiest. You take some of those candy melts again. This time I'm using blue, but you could use any color. Make a little dot of the chocolate and then stick on some of these eyeballs. If you want to try and match the eyeballs so that they're facing the same direction, you can do that, but I like mine looking a little crazy. I got these little eyeballs candies at Michael's. These are actually the medium sized ones. They come in different sizes. And then you just need to wait for the chocolate to cool down. You could also expand these faces and make some silly tongues or eyeglasses or something else also. Well guys, I hope that those hamantaschen made you smile. I know that my friends and family who will be getting them in their Mishloach Mano packages will have a good giggle at those googly eye ones. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos all year round on doing Jewish things with your kids. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out what else I've got going on.